Okay, a real quick photo tip here, editing tip for Photoshop um, related to uh, royalty-free stock photography. Got this picture a few months ago back during the windstorm here in New Hampshire. We had... Uh, power was already out, but unfortunately these uh, folks here crashed into the electrical transformer, underground electrical transformer. Actually took out the phone service and the cable service and then crashed into the transformer knocking it off its foundation. Um, I grabbed this picture and um, sat in the uh, in the hard drive for a while and uh, just the other day I was going through locating images to send up to iStock and came across this one. To do that we have to remove the um, the logos or any other uh, personal property type references that can be uh, copyright issues or whatnot. So I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on this right here. We're going to remove the logo from the uh, tire on this image. I'm going to make sure I'm on the background layer. That's the only thing I got. Click M to bring up my marquee tool and draw a quick selection around the tire. Control J is going to duplicate that selection onto its own layer. And uh, I know I'm going to need two of them. I'm actually going to click it again and just reduplicate it. I'm going to shut off the top one, select this metal one, and I am now going to reduce the opacity of this down to about 50%. I'm going to click Control T. It's going to bring up my transform tool. I am going to zoom in and take my rotation point within that um, free transform and just drag it up so that it is in the center of the hub here. Okay? I'm going to go back out. Outside the bounding box is going to change my cursor to the t to the curved cursor and it's going to allow me to just spin on that rotation point to right about there. I'm going to leave space in between the, the two layers here so I have painting room. Click enter to um, commit that change. Bring the opacity back up. Down here is my mask icon. If I hold the Alt key and click that, it's going to give me a filled in mask. It's full solid black. It hides that entire layer now. I'm going to change to my brush tool, D to the default colors, and I want white as my foreground color so that when I paint, I will start revealing um, that duplicated layer that I made. I will zoom in here so we can see what we're doing. And reduce the size of my brush just a little bit and just paint away just basically it's it's like I'm erasing the letters I don't have to go nuts about trying to stay in any kind of lines or whatnot because using the tire itself I've been able to um, not have to worry about that I accidentally just clicked the button right there and it didn't matter again here I'm gonna click X to change my colors because I accidentally went too far over here. Back to X again to go to white and I am just painting around. If you look in there you can see it's it's just as if I'm using the exact same image. And I've come back to the end of real estate here. This is why I created two copies. So I can now turn this one back on. I'm going to zoom out, select this layer, do the exact same thing now. Reduce the opacity down to around 50%. Control T to bring up my transform. And then I could zoom in here and grab the rotation point and bring it into the center of the hub area. And I'm not going to go crazy. I'm going to back out and spin it around again until I have real estate on either side of what I'm now trying to cover up. So a little bit of space there, a little bit of space there. Enter and bring the opacity back up. Same thing here, I'm going to alt click on the add a mask, we'll totally com fill, completely fill it with black. Zoom in, B for the brush tool, and boom, we're going to eliminate the logo. The poor people who bought this Jeep are going to be upset. They spent probably a hundred and sixty bucks a pop on these tires, and I am turning them into generic black walls for them. Okay, let's back out real quick. I'm going to control alt shift E duplicates everything onto its own layer just so we can see real quick the difference um, before 
after actually <laughs> before after um, real quick the other things we would have to do on this is obviously remove the Jeep logo from the center of the hub and um, I would actually remove or will remove the markings on the electrical box too I don't think that they would be an issue but um, they don't add anything to the image and I would rather just get rid of them instead of having uh, having them cause an issue with my um, approval process for the image that's it and uh, we'll take care of these in another one